This popcorn style review contains scenes from another video. The Hero Aka, but I might have done that last week. I have, at this point, stopped taking any semblance of real notes about whether I've watched it or not. Uh, if I talked about this last week, oh fucking well, I guess. Uh, I'm going through this pretty quickly anyway. But, uh, yeah, it was really good. I thought season one was pretty boring, but I thought, like, I thought it was going to get better than season two. And then, of course, season two made it on my top ten of 2017 list. Uh, and I said in that list that I thought season three was going to be even better. And so far, I've been right. Probably second favorite new anime of the year uh, that I've seen so far, uh, right behind a Gretzko. I should not give the list of this, or, <laughs> or the 2018 list is just going to be dumb. Hero Aka season three. Now, I have a weird history with Hero Aka because the first the first season I really did not like. Um, but the second season made it on my top anime of 2017 list. And I'm like, I bet season three is going to be better. But it kind of wasn't. Uh, it feels mostly like a transition. Uh, there was three major arcs to it. The first one basically introduced a group of new villains, and it served little purpose other than to set up the next arc and introduce those villains. The second uh, arc was about the final confrontation between All Might and his his uh, his nemesis, and it was easily the best arc of the season. Uh, the fight between them was hype as fuck, and it also worked symbolically, because they, they been boosting up, like, Deku as, like, the successor to All Might, and the other guy whose name I should be able to remember but can't for some reason, with all the hands as the successor for, uh, All for One, and so when at the end All Might, you know, passes the torch, metaphorically, so does All for One also pass the torch. So it's like, not only are these two both learning to develop into heroes and villains at the same time, but they also, you know, received their successorship at the same time, roughly. So, yeah, I, the second arc is easily the best. Um, and then after that, it was like the provisional hero exam, which was... Okay, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. It felt necessary, but it also just felt like it was there. Uh, I liked it for sure, but overall, I'd say season three was good, not great. Twitch and Discord in the description. I've been Sacrobolic, your envoy of hope. Bye bye!